All right, Algebra 1, moving on here, section 4.4, 4, graphing a function rule. The last couple of days we've been talking about a rule, it's just an equation. Now we want to be able to graph them. Uh, our essential question here is, how are the graph of an equation and the set of all solutions of an equation related? Okay, and they're related in that the graph is all the solutions. When you draw that straight line, all the points that make up that line, each of those x, y points, you can plug the x in to the equation and you'll get that y value such that it makes it a true statement. <clears throat> so, like here, that line right there represents all the solutions for, a various, for whatever equation it's graphing. Uh, so how are we going to do it here? Well, we're going to talk about today about graphing using a table, an x, y table. Okay? So given an, an equation like this, y equals negative 2x plus 1, and we want to graph it, Today we're going to do it with a graph. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to do it with a table, an XY table. So the first thing you're going to do is set up that XY table and pick three to five numbers for X. You can see here I picked five numbers for X. And when I'm graphing lines, I'll use those five numbers almost every time. Okay, There's special cases where I'll, I might use a different number but if there's some fractions. But basically I'm going to use negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2 every time. It's usually real easy to work with. Then once I plot or I put each of those in for the x and find the corresponding y, like I did here. I plugged in 2 for x, so I put in it's negative 2 times negative 2, negative 2 times negative 1, negative 2 times 0, negative 2 times 1, negative 2 times 2. Just substitute those in for the x each time. Add the 1, and for when x is negative 2, y is 5. When x is negative 1, y is 3. 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 2, negative 3. So now that gives me five ordered pairs, which I then plot the points on the graph. There's my negative 2, 5, my negative 1, 3, my 0, 1, my 1, negative 1, and my 2, negative 3. And then I just draw a line through the points. Okay? So I graphed it um, with an XY table, plot the points, and draw the line through it. Pretty simple. Okay? Nothing really serious there. Just make sure you do the arithmetic right and you're okay. So I don't care what the equation is, I can plug those five points into it, find the corresponding y's by doing the arithmetic there, plotting the points, and I got my graph. Okay? Let's look at a couple of terms. What is a continuous graph? A continuous graph is just a graph that's unbroken. It's that line that we graph. Okay? A discrete graph, that's a graph uh, composed of distinct isolated points. Okay, There are times when um, we're not looking for those fractional parts or anything, we just want to know what each of those particular things is. Um, we don't use it a whole lot, um, we mainly just graph the lines, but that's what a discrete graph is. Okay, It's just the dots Okay, without the line. Graphing of a nonlinear function, hey, I'm going to do the same thing um, that I did with the, uh, the linear. I'm going to make an XY table. I'm going to pl plug in my five values here. And again, sometimes when you're graphing these nonlinears, the parabolas and the Vs for absolute value and stuff, um, there's certain times when I want to use some different sets of numbers. We'll talk about that more as we look at some of those examples in class. But for right now, I took my same five X values. I plugged them each in. And remember, when you put the number in for the absolute value, Whatever that is, it's going to become positive. So the absolute value of negative 2, since that's where my x goes, is 2, and 2 minus 4 is negative 2. The absolute value of negative 1 is 1, and 1 minus 4 is negative 3. And you just do that throughout. Then I plotted the points, drew my line. You'll notice when those points make out a v, okay? Uh, and remember that when you're graphing an absolute value, you're going to get a v. So I knew right then and there, okay, there's my v right there. Okay, so uh, again, nothing too tough. Take five numbers, put, put, put them in there for x, plug each one into the equation to find the corresponding y, plot the points, and draw the line. Okay, all right, we get back into class here tomorrow. We'll take a look at uh, graphing these things using the table and um, then look at a little application of it. Okay, we'll see you then. Bye.